All right, so now we get to get to the moment of truth. And the moment of truth is what do we look like when we're coming into this strike? So there's the strike position. Now, I like to say in a golf swing that you lighten the lead leg in the backswing and you lighten the trail leg in the, in the through swing or in the downswing as you get into impact. You can see right here, that hip has moved in and it's rotating open. That trail leg looks light to me. That heel's about to come off the ground. Body is rotated. And what I like to look at is where is my head relative to my feet? Because what I want is I kind of want them to be in the middle. Now with an iron, with a driver, because I'm going to be pushing off the ground a little bit more, I may be falling back a bit. And also too, because I'm trying to hit the ball up into the air because it's on a tee and because of the launch conditions, I may have that, that head falling back just a little bit. But what I find is, is that the more you fall back, the more consistent the club face is. So I'm not necessarily a big proponent of having that head, you know, over the trail knee. I want it inside the trail knee and I want it inside the framework of the feet, which you can see right there. The other thing is, is that what you'll see is when I go down from the head and I go down, the majority of my body is on the, the target side of that line that I've just drawn there. And that's a big deal for me because that tells me about how light I've gotten as I've moved my weight into that forward leg, that trail leg is gonna get lighter and I'm gonna know that by how much has gotten, how much of the weight has gotten on the target side of that line that I've just drawn right there. Mm -hmm.